Why did I know from when I saw this, it was gonna be hyped up bullshit. On the Tokyo Ghoul official anime website, bro, they had some countdown on there, right? I think it was up for a few weeks. Everybody was getting hyped and speculating, oh, maybe they're gonna reboot, maybe they're... I was like, the whole time in the back of my head, I was saying to myself, bro, there ain't a goddamn way that they about to do a reboot or none of that. Because after all the time that they took to animate Tokyo Ghoul Ray, they went with the most bullshit ass. I don't know who directed the animation of that. Cause it was the same studio paradox but it was a to totally different animators bro and them boys they went in booty city like ass cheeks on that animation so yeah we, we digress from beating tokyo Ghoul ray anime to the ground everybody was thinking they were gonna get an anime announcement from that countdown on the website what the fuck was it bro a countdown for an art exhibition called tokyo Ghoul exposition in japan an art exposition bro i'm sorry bro like and it's an art exposition only in japan bro only in japan bro what the fuck not even like y'all not even gonna come nowhere else in the world not even anywhere else in asia only in japan bro and y'all made this big ass trailer announcement like y'all was really trying to hype up that was green bro trying to hype up a, an art exhibition in japan is crazy to me bro like you was fucking with the fans all the fans was hype as hell all over twitter and all that ah, and y'all are sitting back like <laughs> look at you fucking goofies that's crazy bro y'all Y'all joining the team, I'm saying. Y'all up there with Berserk now. Y'all getting up there. We want to talk about a letdown, bro. Ray and Berserk anime after the Golden Age arc are probably two of the biggest letdown animes ever, bro. Because it's so ass. This show, just like that show, is like a goddamn PowerPoint presentation. There's so many shots of this show that are just still pictures moving. And, bro, if you look at the first season of Tokyo Ghoul's animation, bro. I, the first and the second season, I mean, my bad. Tokyo Ghoul, the regular show, right? First and second season, look at the animation. Look how it's drawn. Look at the art style, everything. The dramatic effect and tone to the show, everything. It sets the element for being a really dark-ass seinen show. And then you go watch Tokyo Ghoul, Ray, right? And you're like, bro, what the fuck is this high school PowerPoint presentation art project that somebody put out, bro? Like, come on, bro. The manga, like I said, Tokyo Ghoul is the only manga I have actually read top to bottom. The whole thing, every chapter I've read from the beginning of Tokyo Ghoul all the way through the, the end of Ray. Is she does drawing bro he should have draw so fucking his art style is crazy his manga panels like i love his art style you get that tragedy vibe and feeling when you're reading the manga you get that same vibe when you watch the first tokyo ghoul show both seasons then you watch ray and you're like oh what the fuck there's so many things that happen in ray that get translated to straight shit in the anime like in the manga so many scenes so many kakujas transformations that like i was waiting to see from the manga and i was like are y'all serious this is what y'all really did this shit looks so booty bro it looked like that taboo tattoo anime like real booty quality like how y'all gonna do tokyo go like that like like the manga wasn't selling copies like it wasn't a popular like 